So where we're standing right now is in Valpolicella, at Mazi, in their primary drying facility. And this is where you take the grapes that go into making Amarone, and it's here where you take those grapes, those beautiful bunches of grapes, and we bring them in here onto the bamboo racks, and we put them through the passimento process, the drying process. I'm here with Ana Chiara from Mazi, and we're going to talk a little bit about this process and why it's so important and why it really makes the Amarone so special and so different than any wine anywhere else in the world. So this process is an ancient process. Yeah, exactly. This process is very ancient because they say that the Romans brought this technique here uh, 2,000 years ago to produce a sweet wine called the Reticum. And we are still using this very traditional technique. The name Appassimento means the drying of the grapes before the pressing. And the grapes come here. These are the indigenous grapes of Valpolicella, Corvina, Rondinella and Molinara. And they are laid on this uh, very traditional uh, system called Arele in dialect, bamboo rats. And the reason the bamboo racks are so important uh, are a few reasons. One of the most important reasons is, is that what you can see over here is you can see these bamboo racks, it's very strong wood. And what that does is it doesn't allow any of the moisture to seep into it, which is great because that way you don't have a problem with mold. The other thing you'll notice is that the bamboo is rounded. That means you're going to have less skin co contact on the actual grape itself, allowing for even less mold. Mold is something that you want to be very careful with here because you don't want the onset of mold. The other thing about these racks is you can see that there's spaces in between them, which allows great airflow to help with the drying process. Here. The other thing that happens in during this process is that you do get onset of botrytis. Um, Ana Chiara, we said that's closer to probably about maybe 10, 10%, 50, 10 of yes, these exactly. grapes will get hit with botrytis, exactly. which is called noble rot, and that is desire. Um, and we are able to control that to a certain degree. During the drying process, though, some of the water that's in the grapes evaporates, yeah. hence concentrating the fruit juices that are in the grapes. Yeah, in fact, in the end of the appassimento, uh, we have the, the grapes uh, lose about the 35% of their weight and they are very concentrated in sugars, aromas and polyphenols. And they give life to this product that is the Amarone, that is a wine with the minimum alcohol content of 15%, uh, usually 15-16. Okay, and, so. and one of the things that makes this interesting is that up to this point, the character of the wine is decided by the terroir and the vineyard. And it is at this point when we bring these grapes in and we lay them out on these racks and they go through this drying process that their fate is changed and the style becomes more specific to this area. And it's this part of the process that really changes the wine and makes it so unique.